Assalamualaikum Prof. Testing. Testing suara boleh dengar ke? Assalamualaikum Prof. Boleh dengar? Salam. Boleh, boleh. Clear juga suara Prof. Ya, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, thank Prof you. Jadi insyaAllah saya boleh mulakan ya. Okay. Um, okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahillazi hadana bihaza wa makunna linah tadi alawla an hadana Allah. Assalamualaikum and good afternoon to all IAM colleagues, brothers and sisters, Professor, Dr. Datuk. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, uh, I know today particularly in IIUM, there are lots of online talks and programs and it's really good that we can join and hear these inputs from the comfort of our chairs, whether you are working from home or on campus. So <clears throat> today I would like to welcome you to the first health talk series of uh, 2021. We are joined by Professor Dr. Muhammad Tahir Bahtiar, Head of Department of Pharmaceutical uh, Technology from the Kuliah of Pharmacy Kuantan. So today we shall hear on the benefits of herbal and natural medicines. Um, bit of a reminder to the attendees, don't forget to time in for I attend and to also fill out our evaluation form later uh, at the end of the session. So I think without further ado, I would like to pass the stage to Prof, uh, Prof Dr. Muhammad Tahir and begin the session today. Please welcome Prof, maybe you can introduce yourself also to us Uh, ini pertama kali kita jumpa ya, Prof. InsyaAllah, Prof. Yes, yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim. Salatu wassalamu ala asrafil anbiya wa salin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Sister Atira, for arranging this uh, virtual uh, talk with uh, I am staff can you listen to me uh, sister atira okay bro clear okay okay um basically yes okay thank you very much so again i would like to thank uh, mst for ending uh, this talk uh, i'm dr tahel yeah, from kuliah farmasi basically i'm a pharmacist Uh, currently, I am head of uh, department uh, of pharmaceutical technology. So, Sister Atira approached me regarding this topic. So, the topic actually quite broad, yeah, uh, quite broad topic regarding health. Yeah, whether I am the person who um, uh, suitable to deliver, but I will uh, share with you my uh, the knowledge regarding the use of herbs in the, uh, medicine. So for today talk, we are going to uh, discuss about um, atherosclerosis. Yeah. Um, uh, let me share my slide. Okay, uh, can you see Sister Azira? Boleh, Prof. My slide? Okay, okay, thank you very much. So uh, actually uh, the team of the uh, Uh, talk that has been uh, um, proposed by the is quite broad, so I would like to share with you regarding atherosclerosis, because uh, nowadays uh, this kind of disease actually um, has uh, 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 taken a life of the people uh, to be number one in the in the world. Yeah? It is uh, considered as a cardiovascular disease. Yeah. Uh, atherosclerosis uh, actually is part of uh, uh, arteriosclerosis. Yeah, Atero actually it is related to plaque. Yeah, uh, arteriosclerosis is related to uh, uh, in general is uh, blood vessels. Yeah, regarding artery. Yeah, for uh, atero atero actually this uh, regarding the uh, plaque that can uh, block our uh, blood vessels. So it will uh, inhibit the um, uh, 
uh, delivery of uh, oxygen and also food to our, our body. Yeah. Um, so, uh, cardiovascular disease, yeah. Uh, cardiovascular disease is uh, actually this uh, general terminology for the disease. So we call it as uh, CVD, yeah? cardiovascular disease. So there are um, some uh, derivative yeah, of this disease, including uh, atherosclerosis. Yeah? Regarding uh, cardiovascular disease, yeah, it is a leading cause of global uh, morbidity. It is number one of uh, the cause of uh, mortality in the world in general. Yeah? But if we compare with certain countries, sometimes cancer can be number one. Yeah? And uh, cardiovascular disease uh, also can be number two. Yeah? Depend on the region as well. Yeah? And also regarding um, uh, lifestyle, uh, also uh, play important role in this kind of disease. According to record, yeah, um, uh, in 2015 and uh, recently in 2020, we got uh, the result. Yeah, about 18 million of death, yeah, uh, caused by uh, uh, cardiovascular disease related to CVD, yeah, and. Um, also to uh, uh, manage yeah? and also to uh, manage this disease. Yeah? So we need to uh, spend uh, amount of money. Yeah? It's about, um, you can see, uh, you can see here, yeah? this uh, increase yeah? every year. Yeah? And it is projected to be, uh, 749 billion USD yeah, in 2035. Meaning, if you can manage this kind of disease, I mean, to reduce uh, uh, um, uh, the 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 uh, ability and uh, reduce the uh, uh, case, yeah, have some uh, amount of money. Yeah, this is also important. Yeah, we can use for other. Uh, uh, purpose, yeah, um, because uh, uh, cardiovascular disease actually it is actually not personal problem. It is actually country uh, uh, problem or the country actually because uh, country need to give uh, a good uh, service uh, in terms of uh, uh, health yeah, for the uh, people. So I mean, I the 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 country need to spend amount of money to manage this kind of uh, uh, condition. So uh, if you see the uh, record yeah, in 2020, yeah, uh, regarding the cardiovascular disease, we mentioned just now, which is the top yeah, of um, cause of death, yeah, actually it depend on the country as well. Yeah? In high income countries, yeah, cancer is the, the highest. Yeah? Cancer is the highest uh, 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 cause of uh, death. Yeah? Cancer itself, they have so many types of cancers, yeah. Uh, prostate cancer, breast cancer, uh, many other cancers, yeah. So in high income countries, cancer play important role, yeah. Uh, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, the cause of death. And then in middle income countries, um, cardiovascular disease is number one, yeah, number one. And in low uh, income countries, yeah, um, Cardiovascular disease is number one, followed by cancer is uh, 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 number third, yeah, uh, compared to uh, other uh, disease. Yeah, uh, here can be many type of disease. So if you see the trend here, yeah, why why it has happened? Yeah? Why it has happened? Uh, to my uh, observation and uh, um, or maybe uh, personal opinion regarding this, actually it is related to the. Uh, lifestyle, yeah? lifestyle in terms of um, uh, work balance, uh, uh, food, yeah, uh, and most probably because of uh, you know the the time to spend uh, in order to to give uh, I provide exercise yeah to the people, so 
is my uh, personal observation. Then um, regarding uh, atherosclerosis, yeah, we call it plug. Yeah, um, it is happen in blood vessels. Yeah, but vessels uh, can be um, uh, in the heart itself. Yeah, and also in the brain and also peripheral blood vessels. Yeah. Uh, if it is happen, to, you know the 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 the, the, the if the burst happen in brain, we call it stroke. Yeah? And then to, um, see um, actually uh, uh, atherosclerosis, yeah, uh, what's that? And uh, chronic progressive arterial disease, yeah, uh, that can be a major cause of uh, uh, death. Yeah? So actually, it is happen. Yeah? It is happen in uh, our blood vessels. Let's uh, see the process of uh, uh, formation of uh, plaque. Yeah? You see here, actually, this one is normal uh, three wall. It is like pipe, yeah? piping. Nothing, nothing uh, happened here. Yeah, it is clean. Yeah, clear. And uh, uh, if uh, actually, if we have a. Uh, uh, in terms of our diet, yeah? uh, cholesterol, high cholesterol, yeah? and also LDL is high. Yeah? So this uh, blood vessel can be uh, uh, what called uh, narrowed yeah? by uh, the growth of uh, a plaque yeah? in the blood vessels. Yeah? So uh, you can see yeah, uh, it will uh, reduce the, uh, the, the, the volume of the of blood that can uh, pass through the uh, uh, vessels. Yeah? If uh, this kind of uh, plaque, yeah, of, uh, uh, this kind of plaque uh, rupture or broken, yeah? so it can uh, cause uh, blood clot. Yeah? We call it uh, thrombosis. Yeah? This one is dangerous, yeah. This one is dangerous. It can block, yeah. It can block the blood vessels, so meaning uh, there is no supply of oxygen throughout our body, yeah. And also will also block the uh, distribution of uh, uh, nutrient as well, yeah. So uh, it can cause uh, sudden death, yeah, uh, or maybe it can cause a stroke, yeah. If uh, the the situation is a little bit. Uh, Light, yeah, so it can cause uh, less or stroke. So the symptom, yeah, symptom of uh, atherosclerosis, yeah, can be chest pain, yeah, chest pain because uh, 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 maybe our heart is uh, very hard and uh, to work, yeah, to supply oxygen, so you can uh, feel something uh, pain, yeah, and weakness because uh, inability of oxygen, yeah. To be uh, distributed to all tissues, yeah. So we feel uh, maybe not really what uh, strong enough uh, because lack of oxygen, yeah. And then um, it can cause vision uh, problems, yeah, speech problem as well, yeah, headache, yeah, uh, pain, yeah, and also difficulty in walking. This is just only symptom, yeah. This symptom can also be caused by other type of disease. Yeah? That's why we need to check. Um, when we go to a uh, um, hospital or clinic, normally the uh, what uh, one medical doctor will check the uh, condition of who are, um, uh, uh, what uh, blood pressure sample right related to uh, cardiovascular. So uh, actually, uh, this kind of disease can be. Uh, we as human, we, we uh, as human is encouraged to do something, what called? To prevent, yeah? to effort, to spend our effort. Yeah? But actually the vision is coming from uh, our God, yeah? from Allah SWT, whether Allah allow us to live longer, for example, yeah? we can uh, spend our time to manage ourselves. Yeah? So um, lifestyle, including eating healthy diet, yeah? uh, that uh, free uh, from saturated fats yeah, and also cholesterol yeah? and uh, avoiding uh, fried and fatty foods yeah? uh, consuming uh, fish uh, fish ikan yeah? twice a week so we'll see later what actually the function of uh, this uh, fish why fish yeah? and then uh, exercise is important yeah 
exercise important because that one can actually uh, break down the um, what called the consume energy yeah? can uh, break down the cholesterol and then to quit uh, smoking yeah and it's also able to to do stress management yeah stress management uh, stress in the workplace yeah we have to avoid that yeah so maybe we cannot avoid it but we try to manage yeah not to be stressed yeah so what how maybe you can just uh, relax to you know, go for a vacation for example go somewhere i mean to, uh, go to the beach yeah? and then um, weight loss also yeah we can reduce our weight in order to uh, reduce the incidence of uh, atherosclerosis okay actually we would like to share uh, wise words actually uh, there are some wise uh, the uh, advice yeah? actually uh, let the food be uh, the medicine yeah uh, let's uh, our food to be our medicine yeah? and the uh, medicine to be our food um, so meaning uh, everything is coming from the food yeah not everything is coming from food actually most of these are coming from uh, foods actually yeah um, uh, for example yeah for example foods or whatever we consume yeah not only food for example whatever we consume like smoking for example yeah smoking is actually we and we consume yeah not we some uh, people consume it yeah uh, so it can cause uh, uh, cardiovascular disease as well yeah and also it can cause cancer yeah so meaning we have to be uh, selective yeah and also have to be uh, uh, what called uh, balance yeah when uh, taking food yeah uh, and then uh, in other words is uh, uh, preventive is bet uh, better than cure yeah so actually the role of um, uh, medicinal plant or herbs actually in the, uh, in this, this management actually is as a prevention yeah not to cure actually yeah? if you want to cure normally we use a modern medicine yeah so um by um using this uh, what we've been aware uh, by applying these uh, words yeah actually uh can uh, we can avoid yeah we, or maybe we can uh, reduce the incidence of uh, uh, cardiovascular disease, including atherosclerosis. Yeah. Okay. Now uh, we are going to talk about uh, herbs. Yeah. Uh, or uh, natural products or semula jadi. Yeah. When uh, we talk about uh, natural products, yeah, or semula jadi, yeah, it can be uh, from plants, yeah, animals, and also microorganisms, yeah. And then, to, uh, normally, yeah, uh, uh, the active component, yeah in the plants, animals, and uh, microorganism, yeah, uh, that is uh, responsible to give any pharmacological effect, yeah, we call it as a secondary metabolite, yeah. For example, um, the chemicals, yeah, this one is more uh, chemistry, yeah, a little bit, yeah. And then the examples uh, are colloids, yeah, are colloids, yeah, are colloids is actually, um, uh, uh compound yeah that has uh, uh nitrogen yeah nitrogen in their uh, cyclic uh, structure yeah for example morphine yeah this one is actually uh, strong uh, analgesic yeah another type of uh, chemical yeah or secondary metabolite is terpenoids yeah for example artemisinic acid yeah this anti-malarial newly introduced uh, uh, anti-malaria yeah or polyketides yeah and non ribosomal peptides so I meaning whatever you we consume yeah whatever we consume from a uh, plant most probably they have uh, this kind of uh, compound in there yeah yeah 
most probably, yeah. And then, uh, so uh, let's see about um, uh, to compare yeah, about primary and secondary metabolite. In plant, yeah, they have uh, primary metabolites and also secondary metabolites. Yeah, primary metabolites, yeah, involve in the normal growth of plant, yeah, and also involve in the plant development and reproduction, yeah. And um, for example, here is carbohydrates, yeah, carbohydrate, fats, and protein, yeah. And oh, when we consume this type of uh, metabolites, actually our body is uh, familiar with it, yeah, is familiar with it. So uh, that can be metabolized easily, yeah. So meaning it can we we take from you know as a food, yeah, our body will digest it, yeah, and after that we will get energy from that and the rest will be uh, disposed. Right? And uh, primary, primary metabolite, actually they are not uh, poisonous. Yeah? Carbohydrate, for example, the rice, yeah? fats, yeah? and maybe from plant and also from animal fats and protein, actually they are not uh, poisonous. Yeah? Uh, they are safe to consume. Yeah? Uh, and uh, regarding secondary metabolite, yeah? that is uh, present in plants, animal, and also uh, microorganism. Yeah? They are not directly involved in normal growth. Yeah? Actually, um, this one is a side product of uh, uh, metabolism. metabolism yeah? For example, acloids, yeah? tannins, is, uh, resins, gum, and so latex. Yeah? Some of these compounds are poisonous. So meaning what uh, message I would like to deliver here, actually, if the people claim that one is uh, from natural, yeah, from naturals, smaller jadi, it is safe, not, yeah, no, yeah, depend on the type of uh, 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 metabolites present in that uh, uh, product, yeah. So any claim uh, related to, uh, what call it, that smaller jadi is safe, uh, there is no guarantee, yeah. It depends on the what what component are present in that product, yeah. And then um, so that uh, this one now um, we're going to to see, yeah. For example, the, why I mentioned Simula uh, Jadi uh, is not uh, hundred percent safe, yeah. For example, uh, there are some fruits, yeah, that uh, containing seed that is very toxic. For example, yeah. Um, from uh, neem, yeah, this one is, uh, the, uh, this plant actually not available maybe in our region, yeah. Let's uh, take a sample uh, three, yeah. Uh, these three plants, yeah, at the bottom, and neem, actually this one is uh, mambu, yeah. Actually this one is very toxic, yeah, neem. Uh, recently the people mentioned that uh, we can consume semambu to uh, be used in COVID-19, right? I think some of we when we sometimes in social media, yeah, uh, they said uh, if we consume some of it, it can cure uh, COVID nineteen. Actually, maybe yeah, I need to do more research on that. But actually, uh, neem, yeah, it uh, has a um, uh, toxic yeah seed actually, yeah, and rubber, yeah, rubber pokok beta, yeah, they have seed, yeah, actually it is not. Uh, consumable actually, yeah, not edible, yeah. And jatropa, jatropa is kok jara is very toxic, yeah. Is containing uh, ricin, yeah. Ricin is very toxic. So um, meaning, yeah, meaning um, uh, not all, yeah, uh, product that are coming from uh, similar jadi or natural product are safe to be consumed, yeah. And then there are some other non-edible fruits, yeah. So we we have to avoid it, yeah. So not to not to consume everything that coming from uh, uh, what uh, similar jadi or natural product, yeah, because it can be uh, dangerous to our health. Okay. So um, uh, okay. Now uh, we move to um, edible, yeah, edible. Uh, um, Herbs, spices, and also vegetable. Yeah? 
Edible means it has been um, consumed yeah, by our ancestors since long time ago. Yeah? Actually, we just follow whatever um, our parents uh, practice. Yeah? So, uh, for example, uh, whatever they use in uh, uh, jamu, for example. Yeah? Jamu uh, normally containing uh, uh, turmeric yeah? or uh, Halia, yeah. Uh, they are well, actually safe, yeah. They're actually safe, no problem to be consumed, yeah. And also spices, what we use in uh, cooking, for example, yeah. Um, mainly they are safe, yeah. They are safe, uh, not uh, cause any uh, toxic effect to our body, yeah. We if we consume it every day, yeah, every day, no problem. And then the vegetables, yeah, vegetable also uh, we use in our uh, daily life, yeah, because what we would like to obtain from vegetables is their fiber, yeah, and also their vitamins, yeah, uh, that can uh, be used by our body actually for catalytic reaction, yeah, and then the, um, regarding herbs, uh, spice, and vegetable, yeah, they are containing uh, antioxidant, yeah. They are containing antioxidant compound. Yeah? Antioxidant compound play important role in preventing uh, free radical. Yeah? Free radical that can cause damage in the cell. Yeah? Uh, by consuming uh, this kind of um, uh, 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 product, you have spices, vegetables. At the same time, we also consume antioxidant, uh, antioxidant compounds. Yeah? Antioxidant compound is important, yeah? important in order to prevent um, free radicals. Yeah? Free radical is very uh, dangerous to our body yeah? because it can cause um, cancers. Yeah? It can uh, uh, alter our receptor. Yeah? So um, meaning we have to prevent our body by consuming uh, antioxidant. Yeah? Okay. Another type of um, uh, product other than herbs, uh, spices, and so forth, veget uh, vegetable is vegetable oil. Yeah? Vegetable oils, uh, they have actually um, uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid. Yeah? Uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid, poly is uh, uh, many, yeah? and the meaning of poly is many. Yeah? Unsaturated. Yeah? Unsaturated means they have a double bond in their structure. Yeah, this like this. Yeah, how many? They have the three uh, double bond, so meaning they are uh, unsaturated. Yeah, like uh, you know, like acid. Yeah, and also uh, linoleic acid is uh, ala. Yeah, and also eicosapentanoic acid (APA). Yeah, uh, EPA. They have um, uh, about five. Yeah, actually, this uh, structural num number. Yeah, uh, we can name actually uh, the uh, fatty acid based on their uh, double bond, yeah, and also DHA, yeah, this one also uh, good, yeah, they have uh, six double bond in their structures, yeah, and also uh, linoleic acid, yeah, acaridinic acid, and uh, this actually good uh, uh, fat, yeah, good fat, it can also be used to balance uh, LDL, yeah, uh, cholesterol, yeah, to neutralize. Uh, uh, LDL, yeah. Actually, if you want to use, uh, even if you want to reduce the cholesterol level, we can consume uh, this vegetable oil. Yeah? Vegetable oil, for example, uh, olive oils, yeah. Olive oils. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, nuts, yeah, and uh, grain, yeah. They have a uh, 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 polyunsaturated fatty acid. And uh, now uh, we are talking about herbs. Herbs, yeah, they can be used for atherosclerosis. Uh, yeah. Actually, natural, product, natural products have been used uh, for so long. Yeah, before modern medicine, that what we uh, currently use. Yeah, people they uh, depend um, can be hundred percent from natural products. Yeah. And then uh, in the recent uh, decades, yeah, the interest is increasing. Yeah, 
uh, because now people would like to find something that uh, considered as safe product. Yeah, safe product they uh, go back to nature. Yeah, to find something from nature. Yeah, and then um, including for uh, atherosclerosis. Yeah? Regarding the pharmacology, yeah, pharmacology or action of uh, herbs in uh, atherosclerosis, yeah, uh, they have uh, three mechanism actually. Yeah, how actually herbs can help to, uh, to reduce atherosclerosis. Uh, number one is to reduce cholesterol level. Yeah, let's say uh, for example, if we consume oil just now, yeah, actually oil, uh, uh, vegetable oil can balance actually the. Uh, uh, LDL, yeah. LDL is a uh, low density uh, lipo uh, protein. Yeah, this uh, one is uh, bad uh, uh, cholesterol. Yeah, and another one is HDL. Yeah. So by balancing, yeah, by consuming um, uh, vegetable oil can reduce the uh, cholesterol level, and then to, to enhance uh, uh, blood uh, ribinolytics activity. Yeah, this one is. Uh, to um, uh, increase the uh, what called the uh, the uh, uh, to separate yeah, actually the cell uh, blood cell yeah from the clot yeah so it can enhance blood fibrinolytic uh, activities and also uh, to inhibit uh, platelet yeah platelet is uh, that plug just now yeah um, or to inhibit the um, uh, aggregation of uh, thrombos, uh, thrombocyte. Yeah? So uh, by consuming herbs, yeah? so the uh, aggregation of uh, thrombocyte can be reduced. Okay, uh, now uh, we'll see a few examples of um, herbs yeah? or a natural product that can be used in atherosclerosis. Yeah? The first is uh, garlic yeah, or uh, bawang putih. Uh, the Latin name for this uh, uh, bawang putih is, is uh, Allium sativum. Yeah? Allium sativum or garlic has been used for uh, since uh, ancient time. Yeah? Uh, actually, in the garlic, uh, uh, they have enzyme, yeah? alinase, peroxidase. Yeah? Uh, myron, uh, myrosinase, yeah, and others, and also they have uh, volatile uh, oils, yeah, uh, sulfur containing compounds, yeah, like allicin, yeah. Allicin is actually the active component in the, uh, 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 in allium sativum or in the garlic. They you can smell the uh, what called the the garlic yeah, smell, yeah. Actually, it is coming from sulfur. Yeah, sulfur uh, with other uh, uh, chemical uh, atom, yeah, like durian also containing sulfur. Yeah, or call it sharp smell. Yeah, uh, it is coming from sulfur. Yeah, and they have other volatile oils, samples, uh, allyl uh, propyl, yeah, and so on. Yeah, and uh, in the uh, garlic, yeah, it's also. Um, uh, have uh, proteins, yeah, amino acid, yeah, uh, mineral vitamins, and also uh, trace element uh, as well as lipids. Yeah? What is the benefit of garlic? Yeah, instead of uh, uh, for uh, atherosclerosis, yeah, can be used for hyperlipidemia, thrombosis, hypertension, and also diabetes. Yeah? So it is okay to consume uh, uh, garlic every day. Problem, yeah. It can improve our health. Actually, yeah? problem. And um, regarding the mechanism, yeah, mechanism of uh, garlic in atherosclerosis, yeah, uh, it has been attributed to its capacity to reduce uh, lipid content, yeah, to reduce lipid content in arterial wall, yeah, and then. To, uh, it can uh, prevent yeah, uh, the formation of uh, uh, plaque yeah, in our uh, arterial wall. Regarding the uh, consumption, yeah, 
how much you should we take yeah how much uh, should we take uh, garlic every day yeah uh, according to the uh, one study yeah we can consume it about uh, 600 to 900 uh, uh, milligram uh, per day yeah per day um uh, Actually, there are some products yeah, actually available in the market that already in capsules, yeah. But uh, we can consume it in raw actually. Yeah? You can just uh, consume it in raw, yeah. Just if you can, yeah, can do it, yeah. Just take it in raw, uh, just uh, uh, eat it as a ulam, yeah. It is good for our health. Actually, so many benefits of garlic actually for our health, yeah. Maybe you can set it later, yeah instead of uh, to be used for uh, atherosclerosis. Next, uh, um, herbal yeah, that can be used for uh, atherosclerosis is uh, green tea extract. Yeah? Uh, green tea actually um, type of uh, tea product yeah, that is produced uh, without uh, oxidation. Yeah? Another type of tea is uh, black tea. Yeah, black tea is produced through oxidation. And another type of uh, tea as well. Yes, uh, oolong tea. Yeah, uh, oolong tea is actually is quite a premium type of tea. Yeah, this produce can be through oxidation and also without oxidation. Actually, what is special thing uh, uh, about uh, tea? Yeah. Tea uh, is very uh, popular for its um, uh, antioxidant activities. Yeah? Antioxidant activities because of this uh, compound. Yeah? Because of this compound. Yeah? This one is uh, epigallocatechin compound. Yeah? Actually, uh, if you understand uh, with chemistry, yeah? uh, um, because of hydroxyl group yeah? in their structure, so many uh, uh, hydroxyl group here. Yeah? In their structure is polyphenol we call yeah? we call polyphenol as a functional food yeah so um it is very important uh, again free radical yeah free radical is radical radical bebas means uh, they will take uh, hydrogen from our cell sample if you don't prevent from uh, if you don't prevent it yeah so sample free radical in our body uh, if there is um, Actually, uh, in our body, there is um, intrinsic uh, antioxidant as well. Yeah? This one is extrinsic, meaning uh, we need to take it from outside. Yeah? So to support intrinsic antioxidant, yeah, we, uh, we, can't, um, you know, uh, we can consume tea, for example, and other type of uh, plants uh, that may have uh, uh, polyphenol as well. Yeah? So the uh, function of hydrogen here, yeah, it will... Um, Hydroxyl, yeah? hydroxyl here, it will donate yeah one uh, hydrogen to the free radical, yeah meaning uh, to make a um, uh, uh, free radical to be uh, uh, to be non radical, yeah, istilahnya to to protect them, yeah, to take uh, hydrogen atom from our cell sample, yeah, so. This actually, uh, this antioxidant will sacrifice yeah, itself yeah, in order to protect uh, uh, our body yeah, if we consume it. Okay. And then, um, um, okay, uh, regarding uh, green tea, yeah, green tea, we, if we consume, maybe you can just. Uh, uh, what are they just bitter test a little bit yeah actually it is caused by uh, polyphenol yeah for that uh, it caused by that uh, polyphenols and then uh, regarding consumption yeah how much um, uh, should we consume yeah according to study by Nakachi yeah uh, for the uh, 5,552 participants, yeah, and um, I mentioned that actually 10 cups a day, yeah, compared to those uh, consuming less than three cups per day. So, meaning, um, you feel something after we go to a clinic sample, checking our blood, 
uh, and doctor mentioned that your cholesterol is high. So most probably, you know, we go to the kitchen and prepare our tea, yeah, in order to reduce the uh, cholesterol level. Yeah. Okay. Another um, uh, herbs yeah, that can be used uh, uh, for uh, atherosclerosis yeah, is uh, ginger. Yeah, ginger is halia or uh, it is wrong actually. Zingiber of Sinale. Yeah, actually this one is um, zingiber. Yeah, um, just many benefits of um, uh, ginger. Yeah, can be used for anti-inflammatory, yeah, antioxidant as well. Yeah. And the platelet it is related to atherosclerosis, yeah? um, and also it can be used for antimicrobe as well. Yeah? Uh, uh, the component, yeah, component in the ginger, yeah, uh, the responsible component, yeah, in the ginger that can give uh, benefit to our body is uh, ginger oil. Yeah? Ginger oil is the chemical structure of uh, ginger oil. So it is good to uh, consume the ginger actually. Yeah? You just um, uh, uh, put it in the hot water and drink it. Yeah? Drink it and uh, maybe in the morning yeah, will be uh, good for us, yeah? for our cholesterol to, you know, to reduce the cholesterol level. Regarding the consumption, yeah? consumption is about 250 um, uh, microgram yeah, of ginger extract. Yeah. We can um, uh, reduce uh, all the all the, um, uh, concentration yeah, by uh, 62 percent. This one is based on study by Furman uh, 2000. Yeah. This one is study in uh, rats. Yeah. So um, uh, I tried to find how much we consume. Yeah. Uh, for human because it is in red we have to con uh, to conversion yeah we need to do conversion uh, how much uh, to be uh, uh, used for human yeah? but I couldn't find it yeah next is uh, uh, red uh, yeast rice yeah uh, Red yeast rice is very popular, yeah? uh, especially in China. Yeah? Uh, maybe if you see this uh, uh, rice, maybe we afraid, yeah? because maybe this uh, maybe maybe we assume this one is containing toxin, right? Actually, not. Yeah, this one is uh, red uh, yeast rice. Yeah, it is fermented using um, uh, yeast bonascus papyrus. Yeah. Actually, in China, the red, uh, red yeast uh, rice has been used for uh, treatment of uh, indigestion, yeah, diarrhea, yeah, and also improving uh, blood circulation, yeah, and also uh, to provide health of the skin and the stomach. Yeah. Not only in China, yeah, in uh, Indonesia, um, uh, red yeast rice, yeah. They call it as angka, yeah, beras merah. Yeah. It is, uh, uh, they have uh, uh, formulated in capsule. Yeah. Yeah. They have formulated in capsule. Uh, the, the active component in the beras merah uh, is monacolin K. Yeah. Monacolin K, that is uh, 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 responsible actually uh, to inhibit yeah inhibit uh, cholesterol biosynthesis yeah so uh consumption about uh, 14 to 50 grams of it is uh, uh, per day per person will help to uh, reduce um, uh, cholesterol yeah okay okay uh, next is um Poly unsaturated fatty acid again, yeah. So um, uh, by consuming, yeah. Uh, and just now I mentioned about uh, to consume fish, yeah, uh, every day, yeah, as a uh, balanced diet in order to reduce cholesterol level, yeah. Because uh, what we want to obtain from 
uh, fish is uh, not only uh, their product, uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid, yeah, uh, including um, EPA, yeah? uh, DHA, and also uh, AA, yeah. So um, this uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid, yeah, yeah. Also can be uh, obtained from uh, other products. Yeah, for example, um, uh, instead of uh, from fish, yeah, you can also obtain it from olive oil, yeah, nuts, yeah, uh, uh, and also grain, yeah, and also from uh, avocado. Yeah, avocado actually is good source of uh, uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid. Yeah, and also. Uh, what I call this one is um, uh, <laughs> what is it? Is actually this? Um, yeah, this example. Yeah, you can get it from nuts. Yeah, because nuts and bean. Yeah, um, uh, uh, they are uh, containing uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid that can be used to. Uh, lower yeah, cholesterol level. I think that's also from me, and uh, I will give it back to Sister Atira. Thank you very much, Sister. Okay, thank you, Dok. Thank you, Prof. Prof, ada yang bertanya ni uh, tentang yes, please. Dan tentang uh, how about kunyit hitam and bawang lanang. Uh, frog pernah mendengar ke atau frog tahu ke serba sedikit scientific benefits behind them soalan daripada zoom bawang lanang um, because uh, to me as long as the plants yeah as long as as long as the plants or vegetable are edible uh, it may yeah, it may uh, help uh, to reduce uh, on the cholesterol level, also to, to treat atherosclerosis. Yeah, but if the plant is new and uh, not uh, uh, what uh, we are not familiar with that, for example, we get just uh, we just get it from uh, forest, yeah, and introduce to the people, it may contain uh, toxin or uh, toxic chemicals. Yeah. Uh, it can damage our uh, kidney. Yeah, it can damage our liver. Uh, li uh, liver. Yeah, because the organ that is responsible to uh, remove all these things. Yeah, uh, from our body is uh, kidney and also uh, liver. As long as the 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 uh, the, the source of the um, uh, what called supplement. Yeah, supplement is coming from uh, edibles. Uh, uh, plan, yeah, for example, bawang lanang, I think also edible, right? And also kunyit hitam, actually it is related to uh, 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 zijimber as a family, yeah? It is from uh, tuber. I think it's okay, yeah? Okay. No problem to, to consume, yeah. Okay, thank you, Prof. Uh, so we open the floor for any questions or Q&A to all attendees. Um, you may type in the chat room or at the Q&A section or else if you want to have a interactive interaction, maybe you want to speak out, just raise up your hands uh, using the raise hand buttons and then I will allow you to talk. Okay, and uh, attendees di Zoom juga, Frog. Uh, we also have attendees from Zoom. We have 84% watching our streams today. Thank you so much. Uh, jika ada soalan boleh kami sampaikan ke Frog. Anyone? Can ask directly, no problem. Okay, any questions from the floor? 
the girls. Like what, sister? Okay, Prof. Um, Prof masih boleh dengar ya? Boleh, boleh. Ya, Prof. Ada yang bertanya ni. Serai wangi dan pokok jeramin. Is it non-consumable? Serai wangi is actually not non-consumable. Serai wangi ya, bukan serai biasa ya. Mm -mm. Serai wangi non-consumable. Be careful uh, for those who uh, for those plant uh, or herbs that uh, not uh, uh, itu kita consume daily. Contohnya kalau serai biasa, tapi in excessive amount also not good because as I mentioned just now, uh, because that plant or herbs containing secondary metabolite, right? Uh, that secondary metabolite is not familiar. Uh, our body is not familiar to that. Yeah. So uh, because that secondary metabolite is similar to drugs, yeah, drugs or medicine that we consume, it need to be um, uh, metabolized. Yeah, metabolized to uh, in our body. Yeah, by enzyme that is produced by liver and so uh, and through kidney filtration. Yeah. So if something that toxic we consume. It can, um, uh, you know, uh, increase the work of a liver. Yeah, so it can make a, 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 a damage to liver for a long consumption, including uh, drug, medicine. Yeah, obat yang kita makan itu, kalau for long period, you can see uh, the the people will uh, have problem later with the liver or so kidney. So uh, for those who are not, I uh, mean, uh, the not our body is not familiar. Don't take it uh, very frequent. I see. Yeah. So for we can conclude that the rules here mm. is anything shouldn't be taken excessively. Is it correct? Uh, never take something. Yes. Uh, this, uh, what, uh, yes. Yes. Why? Why? What? Just now, most of the disease are coming from. <laughs> From foods, right? What uh, uh, from what we consume, right? Mm -hmm. So don't take it uh, excessively, and uh, so we need to control our diet. Control our intakes. Okay. Okay. Any more questions? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Why? So, um, inshallah. Um, I think uh, we have come to the end, Prof. Thank you so much for joining us today, uh, for sharing your uh, valuable knowledge uh, on the benefits and also the uh, awareness on taking uh, natural medicines, natural herbs, or anything that is natural. Because uh, what we learned from today's session is um, never just watch out what we take and never do something excessively. Yes, correct. Correct. Okay, thank you so much for being with us today, yes. Prof. Inshallah, uh, next time maybe we can have more collaboration Welcome. with the pharmaceutical department. And I also thank everyone for joining us today. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to um, time in your I attend registration and also for the evaluation form. Um, 
I think uh, I am sorry for the uh, technical issues or arrangements um, on our streaming today. And inshallah, till we meet, till we meet again. Wabillahi taufiq wa hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Prof. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome. Leave, yeah.